to create service holes in TreeCalc LSCF, uh, we can use the function in geometry for entering service holes, hole lines. To define these whole lines, we can select an LSF panel, work plan, work plan from LSF panel. We can also project that panel, that work panel here in the view. And to define the heights and the positioning, we can use the grid lines as um, a support for that. Also, you can use CAD drawings if you want to insert here a CAD drawing. You can define here in grid line settings the division, the visible division, and also the division that the mouse but that the mouse will will use for uh, the snap on that grid line. Now, if I want to create a geometry a whole line, I can select the type of service hole that I want to use. This machine has two service holes that are different. Accept. And then I can use the right mouse button to directly click over the grid lines. The whole lines can be vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. And all the service holes are now created. And if we check the drawing for this LSF panel view plan here, now we have all the service lines also created here. And if we do the fabrication of the panel, we have now here that panel and all the operations for the machine. So if we select, for instance, the V4, the V4 has got service holes inserted on those two positions. The service holes tools and sizes depends on the machine that you are using and the commands that the tools that it supports. For instance, this machine for the service hole 38 millimeters, it uses this command, this tool, it's called service. Also, the other tool, it uses the same tool. So this machine only has one size, one shape for the service hole. So uh, in each case, you use one of the, the both of one of the two service hole types. It will use always the same tool. If you use a machine that has uh, several tools for service holes, you can set up each tool for each function here in TreeCalc. Hope you liked this video. Keep on checking TreeCalc tips.